Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. We're going to get ready to talk about temptation, but um, I have some wonderful people that uh, subscribe to my channel, and um, their channel is called Chill Out Records, if you can hear me, because it's a little bit loud, I did want you to hear this. Um, Chill Out Records has some awesome music, and it has um, no copyright music also. Um, awesome individuals. Every tune that I heard is absolutely wonderful. So a shout out to them. So what we're going to do is get into um, the discussion today, and it's going to be on temptation. Have you ever woke up or just walked through the day and felt um, temptation come? upon you like that you want to hurt someone or do something to someone and um, by all means do I not um, advocate on hurting anyone but to um, give that information that helps you digress from those feelings which are usually inner feelings you know um, let's go over some of the scriptures that can help first and then we'll get into the part that brings a meshing um, of what's going on because a lot of people are isolated and they don't know what to do with that time so they could be wreaking havoc in their life where karma is going to come back to them and causing trouble for others when they need to sit down and reevaluate themselves and get that trouble out of them so trouble begins to trouble you and you trouble others right well here's what god is saying it says but each one of us is tempted when he is drawn away by our own desires and this is the issue. People desire to do something that um, they're not able to do right now. Or um, this could have been going on a year or two ago. You wanted money. You wanted a car. You wanted something. So you're going out um, stealing and killing. And temptation is taking you over. And what happens is, is that you've taken something from someone. And now you're looking at a locked up position. Well, you know, the word of God says, then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. Right, so you had to know where you are in your consciousness and where your body is driving you. Because if the mind and heart is not at one, the body will be driven to do what it wants to do because that's what is done um, in your life. You know what I'm saying? This is something to teach our children because if my mind and my heart are not unified spiritually and I'm not one with goodness and grace with God, with Christ, or you know, whatever your spiritual teaching was, your foundation is not going to solidify you when times come and um, a voices in your head are telling you, go and do this to hurt people, all right? So here, um, that scripture is here, but each one of us is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin and sin when it is full grown brings forth death. So what the person or people don't understand is, is that they're driven by something evil. And many of us pray, you know what I'm saying? But we ought to know why we're praying and we're going to come to that. Um, there's a part of us that has to be changed. And this death is not always death unto um, our life. It could be death spiritually where uh, there's a transformation that needs to take place. And John 1 talks about that. I did a video earlier this week on transformation because I wanted to get... Um, an understanding of what Pluto is doing, um, the God of rebirth and death. And so a lot of things are dying in people's lives that didn't maybe 10 years ago. It's dying now or um, they're dealing with deaths and God bless everyone that has lost um, family members in this uh, situation. Um, I don't wanna talk about that because it would divert um, what I am bringing um, forth here. So John 14, one and 14 and 15, is telling us about temptation and how if we continue to sit in it, the desires and entice enticement will uh, bring forth the birthing of sin and death will be the end result. So what happens is a lot of people don't count up the cost of what they're thinking about. Um, they don't even know that they don't have to think this. They're driven by desire. And then desire tells them, go ahead, it entices them. It says, you know, if you do this girl, man, what's going to happen. You're going to have the upper hand. You can't when you're hurting other people. Uh, the hurt has got to come back and that hurt is going to break you, right? 
All right, so then it says in um, Corinthians 10 and 13, no temptation has ever overtaken you except such as is common to man. Man is um, privy to temptation. A lot of men and women, even children, are not taught about temptation. It's psychological. When you understand your mind, then you can understand how to divert from it. It is spiritual because if you overcome temptation or the vices and, and desire to hurt other people or to do things that's going to hurt others, the spiritual concept of God um, and the universe will begin to come in because you have allowed it and you have broken part of that fleshly desire, which is sin or mistakes, right? So anyway, he says, no temptation is overtaking you except such as is common to man, but God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So in that temptation with God, you're able to escape it, meaning overcome it. If you don't um, begin to pray for yourself, instead of praying, P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, on others, you will have a day of um, come to Jesus or come to whoever your faith is where karma is going to tell you it's your judgment day. Um, I don't wanna get into that. I just wanna let you know about the temptations and this is not some um, video on um, you're going to die and all of that. It's just that cause and effect is what happens to life or in life. Whatever you do to someone is done to you. So. Carol Melvin in the Blue Notes and Teddy was singing, um, the world, um, it, it, you know, we got to change this world. Um, it won't get no better if we just let it. People are blaming the world, but it's not the world, it's us. We have to take accountability for what we do, how we handle each other, how we speak to each other, what we do to our neighbors, taking and stealing and you know, gossiping and talking about people. These things are in our Bible as Christians. And the reason why it's there is because there is a need of a conviction in our own hearts individually to make the change. If my heart is convicted about something that I'm doing and I'm not rewarding myself in thoughts of saying that, well, they deserved it and they shouldn't have did it to me. Listen, somebody got to change. Even our leaders need to change, right? And so there's a prayer for them, not just talking, but I mean, the truth is the light that sets us free. What is your truth? And so if you're living for um, your ability to hurt people, then that's one thing. You stay over here because the Bible tells us that the wheat and tares they're going to grow up together, but they're going to be separated. And baby, I want to be in the wheat. That's why I worked hard to get rid of uh, negative and hateful devices or revenge. The things that has come into my life to try to take away who I am. No, I fight for the good that I am and I continue. So I sit down and I think about what I'm thinking. And if it ain't right, then I put it in a place where I got to get rid of that. That means I got to work on it, right? All right, so this is where we are. And I'm not talking to you about my life. I'm, I'm telling you that psychologically and spiritually, you have to work on yourself, not work on others. What you want out of life, then you have to go and get it. But you don't take nothing from nobody because the recourse is going to be on you. All right. Here we go. So, Pluto and Pluto is the god of death and rebirth transformation. As I spoke in my last video, which is a hypersensitive video, I'm laughing about it because a lot of people um, were saying, Miss Kim, I can't understand it, but it's things in there you can't understand. And Saturn is there teaching us. Just want to mesh this together why you're feeling temptation. Saturn is there um, bringing up lessons of old that you did not overcome. And it's saying um, um, it will teach you by bringing thoughts of old lessons. Saturn is about material gain. Um, so it will get the person thinking about um, cars and houses and money that they haven't acquired. And they'll go out and begin to steal, rob, and kill from others. They do not care 
who they hurt, these people, this sad thing about this energy being used is it's a saboteurial type of energy. Um, Judo, Jupiter is a part of the expansion of it, and the planets are not a bad thing. Um, the energy is just that um, the energy is a part of who we are. And it's telling us you have to change every mountain that we go around a repeat cycle. The energy is there telling us that we need to change um, the way that we see things, the way that we view things. And so Saturn and um, Pluto are there and Jupiter um, in the negative aspect, but in the spiritual aspect as we come to Christ or um, find our spiritual foundation and the change for good comes, what happens is the energy of these planets begin to work in us where we're able to um, bring uh, happiness to the world. And the temptations that they bring are actually um, parts of energy that's asking us to make changes in us. All right, so this is an understanding of what Jupiter and um, Pluto are doing right now, transformation for the better. The transformations are not going to happen the way that people think if the people don't put in the work to change because we've been the same people, the same lessons have been here and we're doing the same thing. But once we really hear what's happening, um, what hap or get an understanding of what's happening within us when temptation comes, the desire is driving us, but we begin to pray for ourselves and the energy begins to change from the planet positions, right? And if you don't change, guess what? You're going to have to do it again. Whatever you do to hurt someone else, you're going to have to do it again because Saturn is the teacher. And it's saying, listen, I'm giving you the lesson, but you keep doing the same thing. So you got to go back. And then what happens is you can plummet because you keep doing it and you're not learning the lesson. All right. So if there is any um, questions, um, email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. And um, uh, we also have some classes coming up. Um, the kids, we work with kids on Mondays at 2 o'clock right now because everyone's out of school. And um, they're learning about uh, the countries and the flags, and they've really taken a hold to that where they're loving it. You can email me about that. Um, also, we're doing um, a class on Friday on cancer, which is free to sign cancer and its personality traits, how you can change um, the emotions that cancer deals with, uh, because it's a lot, it's a water sign. Um, then I think, oh, Saturday, there's another class at 12. So you can email me and get a outline of the classes. Wednesdays at 5.30, there is a um, women's come together um, session. I think that um, it's uh, women's relating to women. I can't um, say the word uh, completely, but it's um, women coming together that's been in quarantine and they are letting their hair down. So you might want to be a part of that. You can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. Uh, for information on that um, and um, be blessed. I um, hope and pray that we all overcome our vices and um, temptations um, to hurt others and see that the uh, pain that we're going through within is something that we have to deal with um, ourselves. It's an inner um, conflict and if nothing is gonna satisfy you uh, with that inner conflict, but yourself. So um, my uh, thoughts are bless you. And um, I always bring the word, but give you an understanding of why you're praying because heavenly um, works are what you're praying for. But a lot of people don't know that they're um, praying and the uh, energies of the planets are affecting us. Um, it's not that they don't want us to change, but they want us to, the planetary positions want us to realize the mistakes we've made and overcome them. So there's justice there and um, the justice is bringing balance within ourselves where we thought hatefully and not understood why we thought like this, uh, why we've hurt others and don't care. Um, you have to get a 
concern about not caring about other people or what you're going to do is drive yourself into hell for help. All right? So have a wonderful day. We love you. Um, be blessed.